Now to some news that shook a lot of people over the weekend. The funeral arrangement of the late UN Secretary General Kofi Annan will be announced after the Asante Hene is formally informed about his passing. A family delegation is scheduled to meet the Asante Hene Otun for State to the second this week and do proper tradition because Kofi Annan was one of his chiefs. Head of the family, Ebusia Pengi Nana Brewo the second says the family is still shocked about the passing of the global statesman. Prince Apia visited the family house in Kumasi and reports. This is the family house of the late UN Secretary General Kofi Annan. Uh, he lived here, he grew up here before he traveled to the United States um, to pursue his education. We are here to find out from family how they received the sad news, what it means to lose such a huge figure in the family and what the funeral arrangements will be. we find out. Sad, disturbed, and disappointment are written all over the faces of family members of the late global statesman Kofi Annan. His death is still a surprise to the family. The last time he met the family was during the funeral of the later Santa Hima held in Kumase. Ebusia Penny Nana Brewu II explains how the family received the news. And uh, almost everybody wouldn't believe by the first sentence. They have to question again, I have to repeat and repeat till it sunk in that it's a fact that has happened. So yesterday, the whole of yesterday, we were all under shock until the confirmation came that it was actually happened in Switzerland. Some of those who grew up with him, cousins, Yvonne Osei Odum, Irene Baini, talk fondly of how they used to play around in this family house. Such a humble person and a loving individual. For the family, it was such an exciting time. They were proud, but not surprised when he was made the UN Secretary General. For them, they have lost a great mind in the family. Even sometimes if you tell people that he's, in your, he's from your family, mostly they don't believe. Because they look at you and look at his personality and they think, you know, you are not even qualified to be his brother or cousin or whatever. Because he's been so high. And sometimes people have to come to the house before they will believe that he's a normal person who has also got relatives like me and anybody else. Uh, uh, there are a lot of teachers in this house. And as for us in the house, school doesn't end at the school. Even if you come home, you're still learning. Born into a royal family, Ebusiapeni Nana Brewo II says the family will have to inform Asante Hene Otun Fawcett to the second before the final funeral rite can be announced. We all know he's also Otun Fawcett uh, Musumuru. And uh, from next week, the family will uh, appoint a delegation to go and uh, announce to the Otunfo that this is what has happened. And uh, he might advise us the way forward, how the next uh, arrangements will be. So by the seventh day celebration, we will also tell the rest of the family. He was survived by a wife and three children. Prince Apia reporting. Kofi Annan has been eulogized by leaders around the world since news of his death broke Saturday morning. Here's a compilation of some tweets. President Kufado, the government and people of Ghana, First Lady Rebecca and I are deeply saddened by the news of the death in Bern, Switzerland of one of our greatest compatriots, Mr. Kofi Annan.
Former President John Dramani Mahama also tweeted, he lived and worked for global peace, security, and sustainable development in very challenging times. A proud son of Ghana and Africa, R.I.P. Kofi Annan. And away from Ghana, Vladimir Putin, Russian president, tweeted condolences over the death of Kofi Annan. And actually a write-up there um, from the president's website. Theresa May, UK Prime Minister, also tweeted, sad to hear of the death of Kofi Annan, a great leader and reformer of the UN. He made a huge contribution to making the world he has left a better place than the one he was born into. My thoughts and condolences are with his family. And the current UN Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, tweeted, Kofi Annan was a guiding force for good. I joined the world in mourning his loss in these turbulent and trying times. His legacy as a global champion for peace will remain a true inspiration for us all. We'll take a couple more tweets. And Bill Gates tweeted, Kofi Annan was one of the greatest peacemakers of our time. I was fortunate to have the opportunity to work with him on many occasions. I am sad to learn of his death. And while we are told that uh, Kofi Annan worked with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation uh, on a couple of projects, his wife, Melinda Gates, also tweeted, Kofi Annan believed in a peaceful and prosperous world for everyone, and he worked toward building it with quiet, forceful integrity. I'll miss his, wi his wise partnership and his deep laugh. Let's honor his legacy with optimism and determination. And lastly, Christian Amanpour tweeted, Kofi Annan, one of the biggest United Nations Secretary Generals ever, and a good and decent man. Rest in peace. From us here at Multimedia Group, we also say, may his soul rest in peace.